Hey folks, John Lincoln with Outdoors. Let me give you a really quick review on my Corker's Polar Vortex 1200 boots. In my experience so far with them here. Let's take a little bit closer look. Alright, so it's Minnesota. Of course we're in another blizzard because why wouldn't we be? Anyway, so I've used these the entire season. These are the Polar Vortex boots. I've used these snowmobiling quite a bit, ice fishing, hunting, walking around, long walks, four or six miles with the dogs and the wife through the snow and the back trails on the farm. And so far they've held up pretty good. So what I have before these were some Irish setters that I have for about 10 years, actually. I know that sounds crazy, right? 10 years on a pair of boots, but that's what I had in the Irish setters. I melted mine in a bonfire on accident, got too hot, and it's time to replace them. And this is what I went with, Polar Vortex, Corkers. And so far, my experience has been excellent. My feet have stayed dry in the crazy, wet, sloppy stuff. Snowmobiling has been good, fits in the, the part of the snowmobile that holds your, holds your boots. No issues there. Um, I haven't had any separation on the seams yet. Nothing there. It's been good. The things I really, really, really like are... For one, the sole, as you're probably aware, comes off. Take it off right there, pull it straight out the bottom of the boot, and pull out the back after you're done. You can change the sole out, meaning when it wears out, you can replace some new ones. Or, if you're like me and go hunting, go fishing, go do all the things, you can swap it out for like the carbide tip ones so you don't fall on your butt when you're doing ice fishing or are, uh, plowing when you're walking on ice. Or you can uh, swap out for the regular guys like you got here. So my review on the on the soles themselves is they have all kinds of different ones. Most of them are kind of, I mean, really doing the same thing. So the tread pattern that I've noticed on the, I have the off, like the uh, all-terrain. I have this one, which is a snow one. There's a couple other ones. They don't really matter that much. They're, they give you similar grip and similar in most situations. What really makes a difference is being able to just really pop this off and put the carbide tips one off, the carbide tipped ones on when you're on ice. That is awesome. So when I'm going fishing, I show up, I got these guys on, I get all the stuff loaded up, get in the snowmobile, I'll pop the sole off, it takes like five seconds, and I'll put the carbide tips on and roll out. No issues, don't fall my butt, none of that, none of that. Um, the only... I've only got really two gripes with these. So one, the you can see that there's a a vinyl wrap on the on the cables here. You can kind of probably see right here in the image that it's kind of worn off a little bit. There's a few spots in my vinyl wrapped cables that have worn out or worn off, I should say, already. It's really because of where it sits. So after I have it tightened, it's in the same spot every time. I haven't really experienced any problems with that yet, but it's something I've noticed. Also, on both pairs of boots, or both sides, left and right side, my right side, the inside of this thing, if I can give you a better image, it's like one massive sock. It's one solid piece all the way through. That's why it's waterproof. And on this one, the it, I believe that the liner, that waterproof liner, is like, glued to the inside of the boot not a very strong glue because on my right foot it's come it's broken completely loose so if my foot's like damp or wet it'll pull the liner out like a sock when you take your foot out of the boot which is annoying but that's the only issue i've had with them so far other than that i've been warm i've been dry i've been extremely comfortable good toe room and i'm pretty impressed so yeah any questions let me know